In this video, we're going to discuss cytokines. Cytokines, definition, any soluble proteins or glycoproteins released by one cell population that act as an intercellular between cell mediator or signal, uh, signaling molecules are the cytokines. When released from mononuclear phagocytes, these proteins are called monokines. If they are released from T lymphocyte, they are called lymphokines and when produced by a leukocyte and the action is on another leukocyte, they are interleukins. If their effect is to stimulate the growth and differentiation of immature leukocytes in bone marrow, they are called colony stimulating factors. Cytokines, as we said, are the small soluble proteins that regulate the immune system, orchestrating both innate immunity and adaptive immunity, uh, adaptive response to the infection. They are induced in response to specific stimuli such as bacterial lipopolysaccharides, flagellin, other bacterial products through the ligation of the cell adhesion molecules or through the recognition of foreign antigen by host lymphocytes. The effect of cytokines in vivo include regulation of growth, differentiation, and gene expression by many different cell types, including leukocyte. Individual cytokines do not act alone, but in conjunction with many other cytokines that are induced during the process of immune activation. Resulting network of cytokines expression regulate the leukocyte activity and lead to the elimination of the infection. Some features of cytokines. These are pluritropic, which means nature of cytokine activity relates to the widespread distribution of cytokine receptors on many cell types and the ability of cytokines to alter the expression of numerous genes. One pleurotropic effect of certain cytokine is that it can alter the expression of several genes. Ne the next is redundancy. Cytokines that share the same receptor Massive con un uh, uncontrolled overproduction and dysregulation of the cytokines may lead to shock, multi-organ failure, or death. Next is autocrine, affecting the same cell that secrete is. Paracrine is when cytokines are affecting a target cell in the proximity. Endocrine, occasionally cytokine will also exert systematic activity. Pleiotropism is the single cytokine which has many different action. Redundancy, different cytokines often have same action or the similar effect. Synergy is the cooperative effect of multiple cytokines. Then we have antagonist, inhibition of one cytokine effects by the another cytokine. They act in networks, which means stimulate the release of other cytokines, act as a growth factor of hemopoietic cell, modulate the number and the composition of cells. Families of cytokines. There are four families of cytokines, chemokines, hematopoietins, interleukins, and tumor necrosis factor family. Chemokines function cytokines that are chemotactic or chemokinetic for leukocytes they stimulate cell migration and attract phagocytic cells and lymphocytes chemokines play a central role in inflammatory response hemopoietins function cytokines uh, these are the cytokines that stimulate and regulate the growth and differentiation processes involved in the blood cell formation Interleukin cytokines produced by lymphocytes and monocytes that regulate the growth and differentiation of other cells, primarily lymphocytes and hemopoietic stem cells, they often also have other biological effect. Tumor necrosis factor family, also known as TNF, the function of these cytokines are that they are cytotoxic for tumor cells and have many other effects such as promoting inflammation, fever, shock, and some can induce apo apoptosis.
cytokines of innate versus adaptive immunity starting with cytokines in innate adaptive immunity cytokines involved in innate immune response are responsible for many of the physical symptoms attributed in inflammation such as fever swelling pain and cellular infiltrates into the damaged tissue for example inflammatory agents are the innate adaptive immunity cytokines the main function of innate immune response is to recruit effective cells to the area cytokines involved in triggering this response are interleukin 1 tumor necrosis factor alpha interleukin 6 chemokines transforming growth factor beta and interferons alpha and beta cytokines in Adaptive immune response. Adaptive immune response is mainly secreted by T cells, especially T helper cells, and affect T and B cell function more directly. Subclasses of T helper, helper cells are Th1 cytokines, include IL2 and IFN, gamma, and Th2 cytokines include IL4, IL5, and IL10. IL stands for interleukin. immune response first cytokine is interleukin 1 cell source is monocyte macrophages endothelial cells fibroblast neural cell etc the function of interleukin cytocytes is to produce a variety of a wide variety of effect on differentiation and function of cells involved in the inflammatory and immune effector responses also affects CNS and endocrine system it is an endogenous pyrogen then we have interleukin 2 or T cell growth factor. Cell source is T cell, T helper cell 1. Function is to stimulate T cell proliferation and differentiation, enhance cytolytic activity of NK cells, promote proliferations and immunoglobin secretions of activated B cells. Then we have interleukin 3. Cell source is T cell, cretinocytes, neural cell and mast cells. Function is to stimulate the production and differentiation of macrophage, neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, and mast cells. Interleukin 4, or also known as B cell growth factor, source again is T helper cell, macrophage, mast cell, basophil, and B cells. These induce the differentiation of naive CD4 plus T cells into the T helper cells. Induce the proliferation and differentiation of B cell exhibit diverse effect on T cells, monocytes, granulocytes, fibroblast and endothelial cells. Then we have interleukin 5 cytokine responsible for growth and activation of B cell and eosinophil chemotactic for eosinophils. Interleukin 6 also known as cytotoxic T cell differentiation factor or B cell differentiation factor arise from T helper cell 2 activates the hemopoietic cell induce growth of T cell B cell hem hepatocytes cretinocytes nerve cells and stimulate the production of acute phase protein then we have interleukin 8 which arise from monocytes and many other cells function as chemoattractant of TMNs and T cells cause TMN degranulization and expression of receptor inhibits addition of TMNs to cytokine activated endothelium. It promotes migration of TMNs through the non-activated endothelium cells. Interleukin 10 arise from B cell macrophage cretinocytes reduce the production of IFN IL-1, TFN alpha and IL-6 by macrophages in combination with IL interleukin-3, interleukin-4 cause mast cell growth in combination with interleukin-2 cause growth of cytotoxic T cell and differentiation of CD8 plus T cells. The next is interferon alpha or beta. T cell arise from T cell, B cell, monocytes, fibroblast, Antiviral activity, antiproliferate, stimulate macrophage activity, increase MHC class 1 protein expression on cells, deregulate the development of specific immune response. IFN gamma arise from NK cells, T cells, they activate the T cell, macrophage, neutrophil, NK cells, antiviral and antiproliferative 
activities increase class 1 and class 2 msc molecule express next is tumor necrosis factor a wide variety of effect due to its ability to mediate expression of genes for growth factor and cytokines transcription factor receptor inflammatory mediator and acute phase protein plays a role in host resistance to infection by serving as an immunostimulant and mediator of inflammatory response GCSF granulocyte colony stimulating factor enhance the differentiation and activation of neutrophils and M CSF macrophage colony stimulating factor stimulate the various function of monocytes macrophage promote and grow the development of macrophage colonies from the undifferentiated precursors next is cytokines biological action range of biological action that cytokines have on your uh, eukaryotic cells include chemokines are only one family of cytokine that induce leukocyte chemotaxis and migration other cytokines activate cell metabolism and synthesis this can lead to synthesis of wide variety of proteins including spiclooxygenase 2 proteolytic enzymes no synthase and various addition receptor in addition other cytokines can cause proliferation inhibition of cell proliferation and apoptosis antiviral actions of interferon interferon synthesis and release is often induced by a virus infection or double stranded rna interferon binds to ganglionocyte receptor on the plasma membrane of a second cell and triggers the production of enzyme and render, render the cell resistant to virus infection two most important such enzymes are oligo a synthetase and a special protein kinase when an interferon stimulated cell is infected viral protein synthesis in inhibited by activated endoribonuclease that degrade the viral rna an active protein kinase phosphorylates and inactivates the initiation initiation factor elf2 required for viral protein synthesis Cytokines are required for immunoregulation of both and uh, both the non-specific and specific immune response. Cytokines have a broad range of action on eukaryotic cells. Interferons are groups of cytokines that respond in a defensive way to viral infection, double-stranded RNA, endotoxin, antigenic stimuli, metagenic agents, and many pathogens capable of intracellular growth. Fever induced by a microorganism uh, augments the host defense in three ways. It stimulates leukocytes so they can destroy the invading microorganism. It enhances microbiostasis by decreasing iron level, uh, iron available to the microorganism, and it enhances the specific activity of immune system. This brings us to the end of summary of cytokines. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe for more.